for, for a lead we've seen it and looking at it it looks so fa fantastic it looks so easy as well in preparing that now we're going to be looking at my sister because this part as i said this is our chomicho kitchen does the cooking so now we're going to be looking into a stew how to make a stew which many people call tomato sauce but this tomato sauce i can't wait to see it is good for eating rice is good for eating yam it's good for so many so many dishes or for so, so many food but we will see how that is done she will be t telling us how to do that she will be explaining to us how things is being done as well going on a break when we come back we would let you we will explain to you more about this thank you Welcome back to Nolly Rocky TV. Thank you for thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, earlier. I said we go to dishes. Uh, two dishes we're going to be we we we're talking about today. We've spoken about the okra soup. Thank you, my sister. That was fantastic. That was lovely. Looking at the way it's been prepared. Looking at the way you did it. It was fantastic. I know it's different from the way we do it uh, for well, we the Eurovers. Because we call you our own is our last but the way you've done yours is beautiful, it's fantastic. Uh, you are gonna be talking about the stew, you're gonna be teaching us or showing us how to make the stew, which many people call or few people or well, most people call uh tomato sauce. The your tomato sauce people can use it to eat rice, they can use it to eat yam, depend you know, even roasted plant uh, sorry, uh boiled plantain, yeah. fried plantain, and things like that. So uh, can you tell us how how that is done how, how do you do that how, how do you prepare because i know people there are different ways of, of making that kind of sauce but your own or from chummy chop kitchen how how do you how do you do it well um if you watch my video of uh, the way i make uh, the tomato sauce uh, called um, stew um you can see the procedures you first of all blend your tomatoes then cook it dry because when you cook it dry it will be easier for you to fry it then you put all okay, the stuff i was going to ask you that why do you have to cook it dry so that's i'm glad you said that well, so you have to cook it dry yeah okay you have to cook it dry because if you don't cook it dry the tomato water is not a good taste it's not okay. going to come up yeah okay being tomato itself is water yes. so if the water is if the water is still there you still taste it yeah. you still okay yeah so okay if I think you want to cook that particular going. one yes because i know that some people also cook cook um um this tomato sauce in a different way okay you no know, but i think uh, even your about people they uh, cook it they don't really remove all the water they don't okay. really dry all probably, the water. Probably that's where that's probably that's where I'm for me personally. Maybe that's where I'm making a mixture mm. because when I cook, maybe I don't let the water dry. Yes. So so it needs to dry. It needs to dry. Okay. For you to have a good a good taste. Taste. Okay. Yeah, because uh, if the water uh, sometimes it tastes sour or sometimes it tastes uh, funny. Yeah, because so. it, because you know in our own we we to be honest we call it umiobe. Ah. Because omiobe, we because once it's water, you know, we just want to use it. We swallow yeah. because we want it to, to to everything to go on it, you know. Yeah. But so you have to make it dry. Yeah, we do make it dry. So when you dry the tomatoes, then you like this one I made. I dry the tomatoes, then I blend onion, garlic, and ginger, and. Uh, because I always like to put um, blended onion in my tomato sauce. Okay. So sorry, blend it. sorry, my sister. Uh, so the tomato sauce now, depending on individual, you yeah. can. It depends on uh, the quantity of tomatoes. Uh, the tomato himself, whether yes. it's chopped tomatoes, strong tomatoes, it depend depending on individual, individual to know the quantity. Exactly. How, how they're gonna use yes. or the amount of maybe salt. Uh, 
uh, or the age where they're going to yeah. put in. Exactly. So it's based on individual. It's based on individual. Okay. Uh, for me, you know, um, most of my food, I normally use a big pot because I cook for people, actually. Okay. I cook for people. So that's why so, so many times I normally use big pots to also do my um, cooking. So okay. When you're using your big pot, like a quantity of tomatoes, like how many chopped tomatoes? Four cans, two cans? Well, Be yours, yours. this particular one, I use three cans. Three cans, okay. Yeah, All right. because uh, I didn't So it doesn't matter whether it's plum, chopped tomatoes? No, it, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Yeah, any kind of tomato, you can use it to cook. Okay. Um, so, so I blend onion, garlic, and ginger. Then I fry it and dry the water as well because you need to dry the water. If you don't dry it, it won't taste nice nice okay yeah so you fry it then you now add your tomato then fry it again so add the tomato and the ginger garlic and uh, whatever all, the all of them yeah. all the ingredients you put in so everything can blend in together yes yes all right okay then you put your curry all the ingredients everything is there in the video okay. if uh, anybody wants to learn how to cook that particular one you have to go and watch my video, watch it, and see all the ingredients listed. There. All of them are sure all the ingredients I used there. So when you follow that step, the steps I used to cook this, you cook it, and this will come up nice. I promise you it will come up nice because um, everything was so obvious in that video. So that okay. is it. Yeah. And um, it depends on your choice. Or the amount of uh, people you cooking for. Cook, uh, yeah, people you cooking for, so okay. you can cook. And they, you know, for me, I don't like too much oil, so I don't put too much oil. But some some people, oh, uh, they like um, oil to cover their stew. You know, okay. People, so many people like oil, oil to cover their stew. But for me, I don't like oil, so yeah. I put a little bit. But it will be like middle. It will be nice. And also meat. Honestly, I like um, um putting my meat in the oven, you know. Okay. To you don't dry. So you don't fry it. So no, 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 you, no, no, you no. It, you put it in the oven. Exactly. You it, so okay. Because you know when you fry meat, it takes away all the nutrients, everything, I'll everything. It as well. okay. So it doesn't. It tastes nice though, but it doesn't. It, it, you are not eating anything. Everything is gone already. Mm, okay. But when you grill it, also too much oil. Too much oil is not good for your body be, anyway. Exactly. So, yeah. right, okay, that that's a good thing. That that's a good thing there. That's a good thing there. Too, too much oil is not good for your body. So at least that way, you when you do the grill, when you put in the grill in the oven, yeah. At least that even helps as well. Take some of the fat away exactly. as well from it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. That's 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 good. So thing. that's how I made the stew. So. All right, okay. Viewers, you've heard from the the Horses the mouth. the horse's mouth, the owner uh, of uh, Chomicho Kitchen, yeah. and the stew. That is how it's done. Mm -hmm. That I cannot wait to to taste it. Yes. With what I've seen, honestly, it looks so delicious. And I've got a little bit of food in the corner which I'm going to battle with. But at the moment, let's see. Uh, keep watching see how it's done because she just said it you've heard from the horse's mouth and she has told you how it's done please as i said please subscribe to nolly rocky tv when you come to nolly rocky tv you click you see where a kitchen is she's uh, my sister told me your kitchen she's on instagram uh you see her on facebook and also she's even linked with nolly rocky tv as well so you come to nolly rocky tv you can find that on Nolly Rocky TV. We're going to go for a short break now. Where, please, when we come back, we speak to you, tell you more. I'm going to go. I can't wait. When we come back, I'm going to be tasting this stew. We Yorubas, uh, for me personally, I like omiobe. But she's saying I need to fry it. I need to make it dry. 